My name is Dr. Joseph Lee. I'm the Medical Director of Metabolic Bariatric Surgery at Lakeland Regional Health. We're excited to offer patients a wide range of options with regard to their bariatric care. Candidates for bariatric surgery are individuals who have diabetes, sleep apnea, high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, and are significantly overweight. These are operations that eradicate disease, that ease human suffering, and that most importantly save lives and extend life. These operations reduce the risk of cancer, they reduce inflammation, they reduce cardiometabolic dysfunction. These operations are the most effective treatments for diabetes. There have been 12 randomized control studies that demonstrate the superiority of surgery for the treatment of diabetes compared to intensive medical lifestyle interventions, i.e. medical treatment. We don't say cure because it's not proper medical language. What we like to say is these operations allow for remission. And the idea is very interesting. We like to stress these what we call weight loss independent effects of surgery, i.e. metabolic surgery. The idea that there are certain important hormonal, what we call mechanistic changes that occur on the basis of this new GI tract anatomy that happen to the patient even before they lose weight. There are even studies that have demonstrated that patients can have remission to diabetes, up to a third of them, even before they leave the hospital from the original operation. Because the diabetes problem, it's not just elevated blood sugar. This becomes a problem for patients on multiple levels. We talk about what we call macrovascular, large blood vessel disease, heart attack, stroke, the loss of a limb from lack of blood flow. On the small vessel disease, we're talking about people who unfortunately become blind who end up on dialysis, who end up with what's called neuropathy, where they can't feel the bottoms of their feet. Those problems become extremely important because the disease of diabetes isn't just limited to blood sugar. It then becomes a disease of the heart, cardiovascular disease risk factors, and now, very soon, the most common reason for a transplant of one's liver in the world will be diabetes and obesity. They need to choose a surgeon and a center that they're very comfortable with because we tell our patients that it's a lifetime follow-up. If you're gonna choose something, like as if you were to choose a spouse, for example, and it's a lifetime commitment, they better like the surgeon, they better like the hospital, they better like the program because it's the place where they're gonna need lifetime care. Bariatric surgery is not just like doing a gallbladder surgery or an appendectomy where we operate and the patient has the surgery and they move on. These operations are extremely serious. Lifestyle and behavioral changes are critical. We want to make sure people who are using nicotine or smoking commit to a lifetime of nicotine cessation. People who are drinking excessively start to regulate, modify, or even abstain from alcohol and realize that they have a comprehensive medical workup that entails a, a series of, of specialists, not just the surgeon, so that they can have a great operation and have a successful outcome with minimal risk. This isn't about weight loss. What this is about is about disease eradication. It's about extension of life. It's about improvement of our quality of life. The majority of our patients have any number of these very serious medical problems we call comorbidities like high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, heart disease, sleep apnea, lipid problems, fatty liver disease. Most of our patients are being imprisoned by a, a very poor quality of life, lack of mobility, a societal stigma, biases in the workplace. We say frequently that there is no single intervention in all of medicine that exacts a greater measure of improvement over a greater variety of problems than bariatric surgery. It literally eliminates disease and saves life. I like to say that I've been called to this field. Why was I called to medicine? We're called to medicine to save life and ease human suffering. And there's no field in medicine in which we get to do more of that than in our field, metabolic and bariatric surgery.